What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to apply or embed YouTube or Vimeo videos using Revolution Slider WordPress plugin, okay? So, before anything, please hit the subscribe button and like this video, okay? Let's go to the tutorial. Once on your WordPress dashboard, scroll down, review the left side of menus and click on slider revolution okay once on the slider revolution you can import a slider or create a new one or edit the one that you previously have made we have video tutorials here on our youtube channel explaining how to create a slider okay but it's a quite simple the most important part here is get the video links, okay? So let's start from YouTube. I'm gonna embed this video of our channel. And the most important part is this one, right after the watch and the equal symbol, okay? So this part right here, the video ID. Go to video layers into the slider revolution and right here into video. Okay, we can use the WordPress library in the case that you have videos uploaded on your site. We're gonna explain this in another video tutorial, okay? That's why I ask you to subscribe to the channel. You can use the object library. This is from the library that Revolution Slider has. And the empty placeholder. We're gonna be using this one, the empty placeholder, okay? By default, it asks for an HTML5 video. No need to worry. Let me apply some zoom. Review the right side of your screen. Screw down the media content. And right here we're gonna sell it. we're gonna change the type from HTML5 video to YouTube video. And now we're gonna enter with the video ID. Remember that we did copy the video ID right here. So here is the ID. Then what else we can do? We can change the aspect radio. So the 16 and 9, the normal YouTube size, but you can change for this one in the case that you want, or this one. We can set to autoplay. As soon as we load the slider, the video gonna be autoplayed. Then we can see the placeholder, but let's preview the slider so we can see what are we doing. We can do this clicking into this button. Please wait a moment. And here is the video. Let me apply some setups onto this slider. Let me just apply some color on it. And we're good to go. Now let's go back to the, the video element. I'm gonna click on it. And after this, we're gonna see the media play poster, okay? How to do this? We can copy the poster from, from stream if it has, okay? So if the video has some thumbnail, and we set it to not autoplay, as soon as you load the slider with the video layer on it, it's gonna, by default, load the video thumbnail, okay? So this is how it works. However, of course, we can edit this part in the case that you want. Let me just move this to the middle of the slider. We have a tutorial on our YouTube channel explaining how to edit the slider size, okay? And the alignment options. Now, let's go back to the content. And right here, we can post our image, YouTube thumbnail or our media library. So I can apply some previously uploaded image to be the YouTube placeholder image, okay? And you can remove poster in the case that you want to remove this. We can poster on pause. Okay, so if we pause the video, we're gonna reload the poster. It's good. 
no poster for mobile, we can set this, and only post on, on mobile, okay? We have some other nice options, for example, pause timing during play, the loop media, this is really good. Next slide into the end of the video, in the case that you are, you have more sliders, okay? Once right here, I have only a single one, but if you have another slider, we can set this on. We can set the controls, in the case that you want. We can inline the mode, and we can mute at start. So, by default, the video gonna load without audio, but we can set it as, as off you prefer audio. Personally, I don't like audio layers, so I recommend that you keep this muted, okay? And here are the options that we have for our YouTube video. Let me move this a little right here because I'm gonna want to apply another video. And this other layer right here, video, empty. Let me move it right here. And this one, instead of HTML to YouTube, we're gonna change for Vimeo video, okay? And for Vimeo, it's almost the same process. We're gonna select some video. Let me try this one. And on Vimeo, this is the numbers right after the .com. This is the video ID, okay? We're gonna copy those numbers, go back to our evolution slider and enter the ID. All right, the aspect radio, it's this one. I would like to use the video thumb and I would like to set it off to not autoplay. Let's review. And here are the results we have. Videos present on our slider revolution. Now of course we can combine the videos with our other layers, for example image, text, and other parts in order to create the slider that you want, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. If I did help you by any means, please share this video with a friend of yours, with your family, do a comment below. You have no idea how much it helps us, how much it means to us. So, if you have some time for it, please do this. I, gonna, I would like to recommend you, in the case that you are looking for more tutorials, to subscribe to this channel and also to go to visualmoto.com and review our blog, because we bring daily posts for every part of site creation process, okay? So we have posts about everything. In addition, in the case that you are looking for an amazing free WordPress theme and free WordPress plugin to build up your site with an amazing tool set, I recommend that you review our Enzo WordPress team and Borderless WordPress plugins, okay? They have amazing options and of course, you can download them for free on WordPress.org. In addition, I'm gonna leave some links into the comment below and into the description of this video for use very useful source of information and source of tools, okay? So a place where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents and other nice things like this, okay? So review the links, it may be useful for you. And I see you tomorrow. All the best!